All right, you guys, what is going on? So as you guys probably know, we just finished uh, a bunch of shooting down in Atlanta, Georgia. We met up with a bunch of guys over there. Michelin actually flew me down for Petit Le Mans, so hopefully you and guys enjoyed those videos, as well as royalty performance. Shout out to those guys, because they really came through. Uh, I got to drive um, <laughs> a Pro-Am Formula Drift car and do donuts and that screaming V8 LS. It was nuts. Go watch those videos. Uh, anyway, so my layover flight, was actually in Santa Ana in Orange County, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to stop down over in LA for a few days before heading back up to Vancouver, because that is just what you do. <laughs> it's like summer weather, and LA is always great weather, so we are here right now at Impressive Wrap. This is my Turo, uh, my rental car. It is a 2018 C300, it's got about 1800 miles on it perfect LA car. I was considering getting there were a bunch of like Fiat 124 spiders and stuff I'm like I could get something fun with a manual But you don't really want a manual when I'm daily driving around LA traffic for a few days I don't know what's going on with this 911 you guys check this out right here That is insane. So basically right now we are at impressive wrap right here um, because good friend of the show, Sean, who you guys may remember um, from last time we were down here in LA in January, we just finished posting a few of those videos like, I don't know, a couple months ago, but if you guys don't know, we filmed all of our LA content within January and February of 2018 and then took like four or five months to release it. Um, so now it is honestly it's surreal to be back down in here in LA. So I met up with Sean, who we filmed with a couple times uh, back then. And now he works at Impressive Rap. He is like their media god. He's their media manager. Definitely check him out on Instagram. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Whoa, look at that. Okay, this car is next level. Uh, Impressive Rap basically uh, is franchised all over the world. They've got locations in China, uh, locations here in LA, a few more locations opening up. Uh, they have one in Vegas, one in San Francisco. Some of the stuff I'm actually showing you right now, this is a week before SEMA that I'm here. Um, so a lot of this stuff I'm not actually supposed to show you right now, but by the time this video goes up, it'll be fine. Someone's 240, that's 14. So this is actually one of their SEMA builds right here. Obviously SEMA builds in order to get anything worth uh, worth showing at SEMA. You gotta have like the craziest stuff going on. Look at how big that is. <laughs> it's almost taller than the Macan. Look. Also this wrap here, that's pretty badass. If there is one video you guys may remember Sean from, uh, it, is, it is when we went to, we took a G-Wagon, a G63 AMG, and we took it down to uh, the Church of Scientology. <laughs> really funny video, none of you guys watched it, it got no views, we weren't expecting that. We did it more for us, <laughs> because it was a funny thing to do. I did not come to LA from Atlanta to shoot content. We shot content, Grayson and I, and shot epic episodes that you guys probably have already seen on the channel. If you haven't, go check it out. So this is like a wind down. This is this is a vacation, which is why I'm kind of out of, out of breath. I've been traveling all day. I've been up since 2 a.m. Uh, West Coast time. Now the sun's going down. Kind of running on adrenaline now, but it's good. Uh, that is their GTS back there. It looks like a GTR. I actually thought it was a GTR for sure, uh, but it's actually not. I forget, I'll have to ask Sean what kit is on this car, but we might, fingers crossed, take this out this weekend. But basically, yeah, I'm just here to have fun. Sean and I are gonna do some photo shoots, gonna do some video shoots. Let's go on inside. Yo, there he is. What's up, what's the up? man in the hour. Okay, what kit is this on here? Which kit? Oh, Darwin Pro body kit. Darwin, Darwin Pro, Pro body Aero. kit. Full front bumper, side skirts, rear, all that stuff. Have That's spoiler on there too. It's lit, dude. I could have sworn, I thought, I was like, it looks like a GTR. Yeah, dude. And we did a full satin black on it and then gold accents like on the sides here and yeah. shit. Makes it look super cool. They also make a really cool like transparent glass hood. Right. So like you can basically see the engine bay. No kidding. Yeah. You get a full giant cutout in the center of glass so you can see the V8 turbo with the person who made the car. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I called you, I hope it's fine, I called you the, the media god the for media god. impressive rap. So a technical <laughs> position, creative director. Creative director, yeah. see that's more badass. Uh, do you want to give me a quick tour? Yeah, sure. The way you act won't take me back, just go, 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 go. Yeah, I can't forget what you done. The way you act won't take me back, just go, 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 go. Cause I just wanna go. Got the man, Raymond over there working on the Super. This is like our second lot. I'm gonna check out the Super first. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. 
Okay. Yeah, so it's not, uh, it's not just a show car. Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, it's actually a one of, I don't believe this body kit's been made before. I was gonna say, hey guys, notice, no riveted on no rivets, fenders. <laughs> that, that's actually full replacement fenders, bumper, oh, okay. full replacement okay. doors. The doors also replaced to get the rear fender. So you could, you could always reverse that back yes, to stock. Exactly. Perfect. Fence door, hey guys. working on Liberty Walk. I Liberty Walk being worked on, and then, Oh, some dope stuff in here. Well, I was telling you earlier, this just makes me like super nervous. <laughs> oh, I know, bro. All the bolts and everything. Yeah. Completely taken apart. Yeah, we're actually wrapping. This is the first panel I think we wrapped. We're tipping it blue. Yeah, no worries. Dude. I feel like I'm getting in the way a little. Whatever you gotta film. <laughs> but we're gonna have a good weekend, so you guys just stay tuned. Sweet. Oh, also, you guys, Sean hooked me up with an awesome temporary office. Little setup. Yeah, mobile office, man, on the road. Dude, this is the life, honestly. Like, living out of a suitcase sucks most of the time. Yeah. But, like, for short bursts of time, like a week or two, it's awesome. Oh, yeah. Dude, I don't no, know. It's, it's just fun. adrenaline all the time. It's like a little adrenaline filled vacation. Mm -hmm. Okay, start the video over. You guys, enough with impressive rap for now. We will see Sean and the guys over there a little bit later, but for now, we're gonna do something somewhat exciting, okay? Now, with me this week while I'm here in LA just for a few days, kind of decompressing, it's more of a vacation for me. I don't have any obligations to shoot anything, but I figured I would show you guys my whip uh, while I'm here, which is a brand new 2019 Mercedes-Benz C300, okay? Two liter inline four turbocharged, uh, puts out about 241 horsepower and 273 foot-pounds of torque. Little peppy car. The reason I got it is because it's an automatic for LA traffic. It's really comfortable on the inside. It's got the new uh, interior for the C-Class and all the other Mercedes-Benz line Mercedes-Benz lineup. It's a comfortable car. It looks good and uh, it's a lot of fun and very practical. It's not fun. Uh, but so today, I wasn't even going to film actually this car today, but I figured what is the kind of cool video uh, or most entertaining video for you guys to watch with this car. What's the most in the exciting thing you can do with this car? Uh, so the challenge right now is to see how low we can get the fuel economy up here in one of my favorite places in Los Angeles or the LA area, the Malibu Canyons, okay? So right now Mercedes-Benz advertises this car at an average 27 miles per gallon, highway and city. It does have the 17 inch wheels and uh, no bigger, which is a massive bonus for the pothole filled LA roads. <laughs> so glad to be back in California. Um, another thing, I actually do have the window sticker for this car. Will run you $42,595. US. Now, so far, I've basically been driving it in eco mode. Uh, start stop has been on and just trying to get the most fuel economy, like I said. So, city and highway have been averaging about 27. So, let's hit the canyons and see actually how low we can get this fuel economy. I'm gonna guess, I mean, below 20 should be fairly easy, fairly straightforward to get up below uh, 20 miles to the gallon. But yeah, I'm just gonna get the camera set up and let's go do some driving. We are in Sport Plus, okay? So the engine is in Sport Plus mode, throttle response tightens up, steering is in Sport, gets a little bit heavier and more direct. This is not the 4Matic, so we do not have all-wheel drive. We are sitting on Continental tires. I feel like that's gonna be the weak point in allowing us to really extract all the power out of this vehicle. But honestly, not too bad so far. The torque is really what you feel. Absolutely really what you feel. This is very much a like 3000 to 5500 RPM car. It kind of dies off at the top half of the rev range. It is not the dual clutch. Obviously the nine speed was kind of built <laughs> for efficiency, which is funny. Uh, it kind of adds to this video a little bit, I feel like, to try and squeeze the most amount 
of gas through that engine. Yeah, five to 6,000 RPM, there's really nothing. Honestly, the, the transmission is almost, oh, nice Model 3, uh, almost just as responsive as the C7 Grand Sport uh, automatic that I drove on road Atlanta just a few days ago. Very quiet, you don't hear the turbo spool up, you don't hear anything, honestly. <laughs> But again, you do not buy a C300 to, to feel to feel the automobile. Um, that being said though, when the steering's in Sport Plus like it is now, I mean, my foot's to the floor this entire time, you guys, by the way. Uh, we're essentially doing a hill climb. 6,000 RPM. There's a little bit of push coming out of the corners for sure. There's no substance to this car whatsoever in my mind. That being said, from an aesthetic standpoint, like on the exterior, this car looks good. I mean, the new C-Class, this looks bomb, okay? It's a great looking car. The interior, I mean, Mercedes-Benz compared to the new BMWs. I prefer the Mercedes interiors, even if it isn't an AMG. All right. Full boost all the time. I'm gonna guess this is probably pushing somewhere between 15 and 18 PSI out of the turbo. Yeah, this car kind of dies above 70 miles an hour. There's not too much to be had uh, above 70. It doesn't really pull. It's definitely not a highway car. This is a city car. But by all means, the nine speed uh, will get great fuel economy on the highway. I just mean, <laughs> in my perspective, a highway car is something that pulls hard from 70 miles an hour and above, which this absolutely does not. It's good fun. Trust me, don't worry. I'm gonna make up for it on the drive home. I'll be in ninth gear the whole time, cruising Pacific Coast Highway. Uh, if you guys haven't been to LA, it is the place to be with automotive culture. But I mean, 42 grand for the money, I would, I would way rather go with like a Subaru or something like that. If I was up here a lot more, if I was in the city, I would I would take this over a WRX any day of the week. All right, we're gonna stop just up here, show you guys the MPG, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, wow, that is gorgeous. Uh, wrap it up and then head back down to the beach. All right, you guys, there it is. Seven miles to the gallon. I drove seven miles and was able to get seven miles to the gallon. I just burned through seven gallons of gas. <laughs> In a matter of minutes, that's crazy. That is almost Lamborghini Huracan numbers, or Aventador numbers, I mean. All right, you guys, the lovely smell of brakes uh, and tires in the air. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, that was pretty fun. Uh, I had, I needed an excuse to come up here, um, not only to shoot with this car, but also to just have some fun in the canyons and get away from the LA traffic, even just for a second. So with that, as you can see behind me, Santa Monica in the distance over there, Mercedes-Benz C300, not as fuel efficient as you might think. The way you act won't take me back. Just go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, I can't forget what you done. The way you act won't take me back. Just go, go, go. All right, you guys, what is going on? We are here at Venice Beach. Uh, I came to meet Sean down here with the Impressive Wrap M2, all right? So they have a bunch of cars down there and Sean is like, hey, we're gonna take the Impressive Wrap M2 out for the rest of the weekend uh, while I'm out here and we're gonna hit the canyons. Hopefully in time for sundown, it's going down right now, but. <laughs> Carbon fiber hood. But what's really cool is you guys, this actually underneath, if you look, it is the M2 paint, the launch color for the M2, which I still think is mint on this car. Oh, but yeah, basically it's been, a, it's been a good time. Originally I didn't even want to really you know, film and do work down here, but yeah, once you get down here, ended up being fun anyway. It's a lot of cool locations and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking Angelo's Crest. Yeah, I don't Angelo's know what spots yeah. Right, right. Let's go Angelo's Crest. Get some nice rolling shots up there. Where are you guys headed? Angelo's Crest. Which one? Angelo's Crest. Oh, up, uh, up to, is that up Canyons? Canyons? Yeah, Canyons. Yeah. Oh, what? It's not too far. Probably like an hour, even from here. So it's like you know, it's, runs? Yeah. Jeez, that'd be sick. These were already there, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have a good day, you guys. Hey, how we going, bro? You <laughs> Dude, everyone loves the M2. Yeah, of course. It's not like, hey, we're here to show off. Really. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, if you appreciate it, you do. If you don't, whatever. No big deal. Exactly. All right, you guys, just about to leave Venice Beach. We are going to hit the canyons because 
I mean, we, we kind of have to. I mean, there's a lot of cars at the shop that aren't being ready, for, you know, getting ready for SEMA. Yep. And this is one of the builds that's actually been around for a while. Exactly. Right? So you've got the shop car, and we can kind of take it out and take it for a rip. Uh, meanwhile, Aventador is getting Liberty Walked. Yep. I8 is getting, getting Liberty, Liberty Walked. <laughs> Both I love getting it's Liberty Walked now. It's just like, okay, this. It's know. a normal thing, it's common. Yeah. <laughs> And just like that, we came from Venice Beach all the way up to the top of Angela's Crest Highway in a matter of, I want to say about 45 minutes, which is pretty good. So if you're at the beach in Venice, enjoying the surf, enjoying the wake, enjoying all the weirdos over there, within like 45 minutes you're up here in the middle of nowhere, kind of, uh, with unlimited room to do whatever you want. So we have the impressive wrap. BMW M2, which Sean has been kind enough to take out for us. And guess what, you guys? The best part about this entire car, as Sean is just uh, <laughs> relaxing from a, a long drive. Yes. Manual, you guys, six speed. It's a six speed. And yeah, I'm gonna rip on the M2 for a little bit. I did just drive an M2 recently for the first time, which was a lot of fun, uh, but it was not Nike. <laughs> Nike sponsored. Rep Sean repping, repping the uh, Nike hat as well. Hilarious. Sean, give us a quick rundown on this car. So it's a bunch of carbon, got a carbon hood, carbon trunk, full exhaust system, carbon intake. Makes like, I want to say somewhere between 450 to 500 horsepower. Okay. And obviously full manual, which is the greatest part. So I mean, it's got a full body kit, carbon body kit, Revo Sport, full wrap by us, impressive wrap. You kidding, dude? Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> Absolute worst. So the funny thing about these engines is from our time so far, kind of just ripping around LA, <laughs> the engine sounds better when it's not in boost and you're kind of cruising around like four to 5,000 RPM, not really under load, you got that high RPM. You get like a taste of what M engines used to sound like uh, on the older E36, E46, M3s and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's just a completely different beast when you actually do get into boost. Not as good as some of the other M cars, uh, but you know, it's got its own sound. So let's take it for a rip. That's how you get smooth glide cam shots. So the BMW M2 is one of those cars that BMW has made in the last few years that has really piqued the interest of a lot of quote unquote old school M enthusiasts due to the fact that it kind of gives off a little bit of the older school M car vibe that so many, well, not so many people are looking for in 2018. This is a very niche market to want a two-door rear-wheel drive manual transmission coupe. Sad to say, but, uh, so this does have an FI exhaust on it. <laughs> very loud, extremely loud. It's got a valve exhaust, which is perfect for LA. So the minute you see a cop, it's no worries. There's no worries. You can go completely silent or you can go all out uh, M mode. Steering, you know, gets a lot more direct in here once you do pop it in sport mode. Got the exhaust open. Very loud. It's kind of, honestly, it's got a kind of a bit of a manufactured sound to the exhaust crackles especially. But like I said before, when you're cruising not under load, four or five thousand rpm and you're just hearing the na sound of this engine it brings back some old school m memories driving that pro-am formula drift car down in atlanta georgia was one of the most insane experiences i mean adrenaline rush full sensory overload so to come out here to la generally you don't come here to kind of relax and decompress but that's what the canyons are for and i'm so thankful that uh sean and the guys over at impressive rap kind enough to allow me to take out and drive this M2 for you guys today. <laughs> Traction control. It's got this like weird kind of farty sound when you do let off. 
like that right there. Toyo proxy tires uh, all around, which are not the stickiest. I believe these are um, basically all season tires that we're running on right now, which is kind of counterintuitive, counterproductive up here in LA, Southern California, because you can run high performance summer tires all year round and it's really not much of an issue. Plenty of torque from this engine around 3000 RPM, but the thing is you still get a little bit of that power pull near the top of the rev band like you do with the older like S54 engines as an example. A little bit impractical for LA streets, not gonna lie. Driving from Venice up here to Angeles Crest. I mean, I didn't really grab any footage because you can't go fast in LA, first off because of the traffic, and second of all, because there are so many potholes and dips and crazy drivers that you have to skid out of the way and like bumps in the road, it's just not a fun time. And having a low lip like this kind of freaks you out, makes you nervous, gives you street anxiety as I like to call it. Plenty of grip in the front end. And this wheelbase is what makes this car the driving experience it is. It's a lot closer to an E36 or an E46 M3, E46, than it is to, let's say, a brand new M4 or something like that that's a little bit bigger. So to see kind of every aspect of Los Angeles in a weekend, from the beaches to the city, Hollywood, all the way up to the Angeles Crest, as the sun goes down and then whatever else brings us this evening and so if you have to explore and experience LA in one weekend with cars there's certain things you just got to do and Angela's Crest is 100% one of those things but again thank you Sean for coming out with the car thank you to impressive rap hey Sean so it's not scary fast it's not, not a not. scary fast car I mean, especially for LA, and even up here, it's plenty enough to get, first off, to get into trouble. Yep. Um, and second, to like, actually for it to be exciting. Yeah, definitely you know? enough to give you an adrenaline rush. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Speed limit 55, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> traction control <laughs> is like, no, <laughs> not having that much fun. Exactly, if you have traction control, popping in at like what 70 miles an hour there in the middle of a corner you're fine i don't know that's a, that's a good amount of power oh nice person pulling over back to driving <laughs> M2, you guys, currently uh, the best modern M experience I've ever had. You gotta get it with the Chick-fil-A option as well as the six-speed <laughs> option. <laughs>